The Bakarwal, also Gujar, Bakarwal, Bakrawala and Bakerwal are a mostly Muslim nomadic tribe based in the Pir Panjal and Himalayan mountains of South Asia. They are traditionally, and still mainly, goatherds and shepherds. They reside in the entire Kashmir region between India and Pakistan, and in the Nuristan province of Afghanistan. History The Gurur Bikarwals claim a common ancestry from the ancient Gujar tribe. Many Kashmiri Muslims including many Bakerwals and Gujar migrated from the valley to Punjab due to famine and policies of Hindu Dagra rulers, during the mid-18th century. They are traditionally Sunni Muslims. Etymology <inaudible> 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 Bakarwal is derived from the Indic language terms, Bakara meaning goat or sheep, and wal meaning, one who takes care of. Essentially, the name, Bakarwal, implies, high altitude goat herds, shepherds. <laughs> <laughs> Society The Bakarwals belong to the same ethnicity as the Gujars, and intermarriages take place among them. Bakarwals have clans Gotra like Gujars, however, Bakarwal is also occasionally used indiscriminately to refer to any nomadic shepherd group in the foothills, even those who may not belong to a Bakarwal community group. The Gadaria Bakarwals have divided themselves into three principal kinship groups I the Dara household E Dada Potter lineage E the Gotra clan. The Dara is the basic unit of social structure among the Gujar Bakarwals. They count their numbers and describe their grazing and kafila groups in terms of the number of Diras. A Dara usually comes into existence when a person establishes an independent household, which happens normally after his marriage. Each son, thus, establishes his own Dara as he gets married. A Dara usually consists of five to six members. There is a division of labor among the members of the household on the basis of sex and age. Females perform the domestic tasks of cooking, washing, fetching of water, upbringing of children, collection of wood, and spinning and making of woolen garments. On the other hand, males perform tasks like herding of flock and cattle, repairing of tools and equipment, collection of grass, herbs, deer musk, hunting of wild animals, plowing and harvesting of crops. The household is, thus, a primary economic unit. A nuclear family is the production and consumption unit. A joint family which is generally large cannot survive on the meager pasture resource as the transhumants are on the move for about 110 to 130 days in a year. The elders want the eligible married youngsters to shoulder the responsibility of looking after the flock of sheep and goats independently. This would ensure greater security to the herds and sharing all responsible jobs by the adult members. Several dearest households constitute a lineage Dada Patra. The pastures are allotted to the lineage and not to the individuals. In a lineage, there may be about 200 persons. Usually, a Gujar Bikarwal father divides his property animal wealth among his male children as and when they get married. The lineage, thus, consists of several generations and includes cousins and distant relatives. They share the common pastures. The lineage unit is quite powerful administrative unit. Each lineage has a head who is responsible for the socio-economic and political activities of his group. Economy As sheep and goat rearing transhumans, the Bakarwal alternate with the seasons between high and low altitudes in the Hills of the Himalayas, while traditionally goat and sheep herders, governmental restrictions, land development, population growth, and advancements in the market economy have caused some Bakarwala to settle in one place and engaged in other forms of agriculture in addition to animal husbandry. <laughs> <laughs> Legal status In 1991 in Jammu and Kashmir the Bakarwal were first recognized as an Indian scheduled tribe. As of 2001, the Bakarwal were classified as a scheduled tribe under the Indian government's general reservation program of positive discrimination. They are mentioned in the Afghan national anthem as one of the integral tribes present in Afghanistan. <laughs> 